I gave a talk with a wonderful, wonderful colleague, actually Dr. Lauren Napbeny. So we we both spoke on this topic because um, we're both very interested in it. I I currently work um, at an institute that focuses on neuroimmune access disorders. So we see uh, basically this entire patient population, but. You know, what we mean by cardiovascular symptoms is there's kind of these symptoms that patients may experience and they may be at the same time as a migraine, but may be completely separate. So things like a sensation of their heart beating too fast or, you know, a, a rushing sensation when they when they stand up. So um, and just some abnormalities or dysfunction in the autonomic nervous system that actually controls these aspects of, of the cardiovascular system. So our, our talk was really focused on that. And Dr. Napani uh, first talked about dysautonomia or like autonomic dysfunction and how that relates to migraine, um, especially kind of focusing on POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia symptom. So that increased heart rate that that's felt um, in, in patients and, and the correlation there. Um, and, you know, for a lot of people that have POTS, they have orthostatic headaches. They feel much better lying down. They feel a lot worse standing up. Um, but then, you know, that can get tricky as well because that's kind of where my portion of the talk took over and we can think about other comorbidities like hyperflexibility and hypermobility or hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome leading to other things that can cause orthostatic headaches like CSF leak. And then we touched a little bit on um, mast cell disorders and um, how that can actually be a lot more common in patients who have things like POTS, EDS, and migraine. Well, really, it's people aren't asking the questions um, and or may not know how to interpret um, when a patient comes in and just says, you know, I feel really shaky. I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep. Um, you know, I when I stand up, uh, all of my symptoms uh, get worse. So um, I think for a lot of people it can really be challenging to interpret these these symptoms or they just don't know where to start um, because these are topics in in general in medicine that haven't been so widely recognized.